Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. My name is Alex from Lily Square Clubhouse and today we'll be going through some jumping drills. We're gonna start off with a warm up and then we're gonna move into the drills. Okay, so whenever you're ready, let's get up on our feet. I do recommend you have a little bit of space for this though. So if you are inside and you do have an outdoor space, I would recommend you go in there and try that out where you have a little bit of room. But if you are inside and you still have some space, Please make sure that if you are jumping on a hard floor, you're not wearing socks because I don't want you to slip. With that being said, let's get up on our feet and we'll start with a warm up. First thing I want you to do is just rotate your ankles and at the same time we're going to rotate the wrists. And then switch directions. And let's switch ankles, keep the wrists moving, and switch directions. Good, your hands are going to go back, up and down. Try to get that full extension on the way up, all the way up, and back down. Okay, we're gonna get our fists together. We're gonna rotate side to side. You're rotating with the spine rather than your hips. Okay, from here, our hands are gonna go up. We're gonna squat down, and then we're gonna drop one knee to the ground and the other knee. It doesn't have to reach the ground just yet. We get that knee as close as you can. Good, let's go for two more on each side. One. Good, and one more. Two, good. Bring it up and back down into a squat. Give me five squats. Good, let's go back into that squat. Drop the knee down. One and two. We're going to walk our hands out to the front. Stand into downward dog. So you're going to bring one leg in, push the knee out to the side, and send it back. Bring the other leg in, push the knee out, back to the middle, and back. Let's keep that going for a little while. Pushing the knee out, and back. Good. Let's go Let's go for one more on each side. Open up, send it back, and last one. Good. Walk your hands and feet together. We're going to keep our feet together, and now we're just going to go for some little bunny hops on the balls of our feet. Nice small bunny hops. Feet together, legs together, up and down. Good. Release it into a small jog. And back into our bunny hops. That me. Some of you may have done these drills before if you've done the previous previous classes of mine. But we're gonna start off firstly with our ball jump. Our ball jump, we're just moving forwards. I want you to focus on getting as much extension as you can. So before you jump, it might help you to inhale and raise your arms forwards as you exhale they go back and then another quick inhale you push them forwards and at the same time you jump and then you'll get that nice full extension you see when people are jumping quite big distances so just to show you and then you land okay let's give that a go Focus on using the abs, contracting everything. When you land, try to land nice and stable, but land on the balls of your feet if you can, okay? So we're not landing flat-footed. We are landing on the balls of our feet here. We're landing a little bit low, bending our knees, 
abs are nice and tight and our chest is up okay let's give it a go we're gonna go for a few jumps and then we're gonna take a rest Try to find your balance and once you do, release that and let's go for another one. Good. Let's go. Keep it going, keep trying it out. Experiment with it. Be careful if you're on grass as well. Today's not too bad for me, but sometimes it might be slippery. Okay, let's go for a few more, two more jumps and then we're gonna take a small rest. Not bad guys, I hope you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with them because we're going to add a little bit more on to them, okay? So now, instead of just doing one jump, we're going to go for two. So we're going to go for a little bit of a plyometric jump. As soon as you do the first one, as soon as the balls of your feet touch, you're going to go straight for your next one. You can keep it nice and small, but I still want you to focus on your extension and then your, the last landing as well okay so let's try to do it i'll show you now you can just watch okay keep it nice and small for now if you start to feel more comfortable get that full extension and get as much distance as you can let's give it a go as soon as you touch the first jump you go for the second one, and that's your plyometric. Let's go for it. A little bit slippery there. You can take a rest by walking back to your first spot and then going again. Or to your starting spot. Let's all try to get our landings as well. have a lot of space break us and driving up a little bit more and keeping the distance short right now we're just going to walk on as soon as you land you go for that next one let's keep going let's go for two more now this time we're gonna work on a takeoff so we're gonna stick to doing one jump but just before that we're gonna have a takeoff and what that will be we're gonna take one step two step feet together and then we jump let me just get a little bit closer for you guys we'll go one two feet together and jump let me do that in fourth motion. Okay. Take your time to understand the step. You can slow it down if you want to first and just do very small jumps. But we are simply going one, two, feet together, jump. That usually does help get a lot more power behind your jump. It's a good takeoff point, especially if you're doing a jump, a big jump, but you have a small distance, you can generate power using this step. So let's try it out. Okay, if you want to keep the jump small and quite high, just do that. Don't really work on your step for now. Slow it down if you need to. One, two, 
Pizza, go rock and jump. And every time you do that as well, change the leg that's going forward first. So if you went left, right, next time go right, left, feet together, and jump. Let's go for it. And try and keep my jumps a little bit smaller so I can fit into the cameras. Let's go for it. One, two, feet together and jump. Let's go for two more of these. of our feet I hope you guys are understanding it but we're gonna instead of jumping forwards now we're gonna change it into a tuck jump so we're gonna jump vertically up we're gonna keep the same step but we're gonna change the jump so okay still practicing the step but this time instead of sending our jump forward we're gonna send it up with our knees Take like 10 seconds to recover from the last drill, but that's what we're going to focus on next. If you're struggling with the step, don't overthink it too much, slow it down, practice the steps if you have to. One, two, feet together and drive it up. Alrighty, let's set ourselves up and we're going to go. For our step, which is also called the gather step, we're going to do that straight into our tuck jump. Let's go for it. Not bad. Walk it back, recover, and let's go for it again. Remember to keep switching your feet. Let's go for about five in total, so we've got three more to go. As soon as you start to understand your feet, try to speed it up a little bit. It should make your life a little bit easier. You'll be able to generate more power. Let's go two more. jump not bad shake it out take a little bit of time to recover and we're going to go for another one of these which is end for our set two so same thing again gather step into a tuck jump just take a little bit of time to recover if you want to practice your step whilst you're resting that's totally fine one, two, feet together, and jump. And then once you get a little bit quicker, it'll be one, two, feet together, and jump. Alrighty, everyone, let's go for our last one. Switch legs, switch feet. And walk it back. Let's go for four more in total. We're doing six in total this time. Walk it back. Jump it up. Two more to go. Are you still with me? Keep it going. One, two, three, together and jump. Good, and last one. Good. And walk it out. Good. 
come into a nice wide feet standing position. Okay, hold it where you feel a stretch, but you can still maintain nice and strong and it's not too painful. Just send your breath to your bellies. Good, and you're going to drop it down and then you're going to come with your toes together. You're going to send your hips back, walk your hands forward. going to bring it to a nice deep squat take your time ease into it okay and very slowly you're just gonna move left to right keep it very slow and cooling down now from here we're going to grab our toes and we're going to send our hips back if you can't reach your toes just let your hands rise to make sure you're nice and relaxed in the top very slowly bring it all the way to the top good well done everyone that was a little bit of some jump variation drills and um, we went through the broad jump we added some plyometrics to it and then we added also a takeoff step well done for training hard stay active stay safe and stay healthy